Human, you're so scared. Why are you so scared? You're fucking petrified. Why are you playing so small? Why won't you stand out from the crowd and be yourself? It's like your entire life is an effort to seamlessly blend into the herd. You don't want to appear too dumb for fear of being branded an idiot, but you also don't want to shine too brightly for fear of alienating the people around you. But I know that you know that we know that you know that you don't really want that. You know that caving into irrational fears does nothing but ruin your life, right? And if you don't know, now you know. Men, how many times have you been on the street, the bus or the train, and you see that absolutely gorgeous girl sat opposite you? And that girl just looks perfect, doesn't she? Not even just in terms of physical beauty, but there's just something about this bitch that draws your soul to her. You want to introduce yourself. You want to find out what she's all about, but you don't. Instead, you just sit there, shyly checking her out from head to toe, hoping she doesn't notice. And then, you fantasize about the mind-blowing sex and or relationship that could have been, but now will never be because you were too much of a pussy to say hello. But let's unpack this for a second. Let's say you did walk up to her and say, Hey, how you doing? Who knows what the hell could have happened? That bitch could have been your wife, girlfriend, or at the very least a fuck buddy. Isn't that worth taking a chance at being rejected? But then worst case scenario, let's say that the bitch wasn't interested and told you to go fuck yourself. Would that kill you? Would you die? No. All you'd have to do is then move on and find new bitches. Simples. And for the record, ladies, I'd like to say that I don't mean bitches in a disrespectful way. I mean it as a general word for women. But speaking of you ladies, how many late nights have you spent working overtime at the office for a boss who doesn't appreciate your efforts, doesn't treat you with respect, and doesn't pay you what you're worth? You want to leave, don't you? At the very least, you want to confront him and tell him how deeply dissatisfied you are with your job and demand both a higher rate of pay and more respect. But you never do. You shut up and smile like a good little bee drone while you spend the best years of your life working a vocation that's slowly crushing your soul, vertebrae by vertebrae. But ladies, here's the thing. Your job won't get any better unless you step up and do something. If you want your situation to change, you've got to grow a pair of ovaries and actually make it happen. Worst case scenario, you tell the prick that you're unhappy and he makes life even harder for you. So you tell him, tell him to go fuck yourself. You leave, or maybe he sacks you, leaving you sans job. Well, in that case, you get another one, a better one, one more suited to your talents and interests. It really is that simple. Do you have any idea how lucky you are to be living in a Western nation in the 21st century? A nation where being sexually rejected, sacked, or just having friends and family disapprove of how you live your life is the worst thing that's ever going to happen to you. You want to know real fear? Try being an Allied soldier storming Normandy in World War II, a Sierra Leone man who's about to get both his arms amputated, an Afghan girl who has the gall to learn to read, knowing that the Taliban will kill her, get shot in the head, survives and carries on learning regardless or a little Syrian girl who loses her foot to a landmine and is in a hospital bed, crying for it to grow back. With real shit like that going on in the world, what right do any of us have to live our lives in fear? Have you ever seen a baby learning to walk? They fall over and hurt themselves 10,008 times before they finally master it, but at no time do they ever consider giving up because it's hard and they're scared of failure. But get this, if babies fought like adults, they would never ever learn to walk. They'd be like, oh no, being able to walk would be nice, but I'd repeatedly hurt myself along the way and I wouldn't want to do that. Besides, what if I learnt to walk and then one day ran and fell in front of a car? No, 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 I'm afraid it's just not worth the risk. But guess what, human? There's no such thing as failure, only feedback. And everyone you've ever seen who was exceptional at something had to go through the same trial and error process you did when you learnt to walk. It's just the way things are. And intuitively, we all knew it when we were kids, but somewhere along the way, we became infected with this mind virus and decided that learning new things was dangerous and risky. But guess what, human? Everything you want sits on the other side of that river of hazardous risk 
And if you never dare to embark upon the voyage to cross it, you'll always be where you currently are. If you step out and decide to be yourself, you're going to have people who don't like you. But so what? Fuck them. They don't matter, because what you'll also get are people who really love you too. Some people won't get you, but some people really will get you. And that's just how it works. Trying to offend nobody ironically means that you also please nobody. So just do you and live your life, nigga. Oh shit. Did he just drop an M-bomb? You're goddamn right. But apparently my ancestors were slaves, so that makes it okay. And besides, I'm not just talking to black niggas, I'm also talking to white niggas, Indian niggas, Asian niggas, Latino niggas. I'm talking to all you niggas. Nut up, grow a pair, live your life, and don't let fear make you its bitch, you bitch ass nigga. You just called your grandfather bitches. Yeah, but I don't mean bitches in a disrespectful way. I mean it as a general word for women. And you're gonna let him get away with that?